Well, I think today, in today's oil and gas industry, I think the, the key ingredient is understanding what the respective roles of each party will be, understanding what the requirements, the fiscal terms, et cetera, because the industry has evolved over the years to a point where the relationship between an IOC and an NOC has clearly been redefined. Uh, previously, it was a preview of most of the IOCs, but now with the national oil companies taking a larger role, I think what we need to see is more clarity, a little more transparency, and understand a little bit what the actual results will be or what the actual goals of the national oil company is in respect to the international oil company. Okay. It's, the evolution has uh, been going on for many, many years already. It's kind of one of these situations where, um, you know, for a long, long period of time, the IOCs controlled most of the natural resources and the NOCs played a sort of a background role uh, over, the, over the past, you know, five to ten years. We've seen that shift where the NOCs have been taking a more active role. You know, the technology is available to be purchased. Uh, they realize that. The reserves are the preview of their own country. Uh, they respect the fact that, you know, they have budgets, et cetera, to maintain. So I think the evolution has been going on for quite some time now, and I think it's clearly favors probably more the national oil companies today than the IOCs, and, and, I, and I believe what we have to look at today in, 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 the, in the oil and gas industry is, again, how do we define a work in partnership between the two respective entities who have clearly different goals and objectives, one being more a profit motive and the other probably being more social motive, and how do you work together to achieve both of your goals? And that's, that's why I think the evolution is going. It's been going on for some time now. And I think we'll continue to see, but clearly the advantage today is more with the NOCs. Well, I think one of the, one of the things from a Novatech's perspective is uh, we're, we're kind of a unique uh, gas company today in the, in the gas world. Uh, clearly, you know, I, I believe when we look at the global gas industry today, there's a lot of concerns about oversupply, demand eroding, and et cetera, and maybe the lack of prospects. Uh, Novatech, what I mean, is by the unique. Um, we're not a we're not a privatized company. We basically have built our organization from exploration to development to infrastructure and now to marketing, and we have grown uh, to be the largest independent gas producer in the world and the fourth largest holder of natural gas resources in the world. And so to be able to get to tell your story, and it's an exciting story, particularly as we start migrating further up north in the Arctic Circle where I believe most of the oil and gas industry is moving, it's kind of interesting to, to, to understand what we're doing, what our plans are, and I think in a forum like this allows us to be able to at least converse to the industry as opposed to sitting there so, solely always talking to investor groups. So I think the, um, the World Oil Congress gives me that forum to be able to communicate at least a little bit what we're doing from an industry perspective rather than having to solely appease questions and answers, et cetera, from, from an investor perspective.